Get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this woman is a muay thai kickboxer holding professional record of nine wins four losses she stands five feet nine inches tall weighing in at 135 pounds fighting out of utrecht the netherlands presenting the challenger germaine the iron lady d And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Rowdy! Ronda! Rowdy! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, so here we go with round one. There aren't many women in this division that can strike with her, but she's got to avoid that ground, I would think, too. She has to, and I think you look back to fights like Ronda Rousey versus Amanda Nunes, right? Amanda Nunes versus Lucy Tate. Fighting these fantastic grapplers, Amanda always maintained distance until she had him hurt. So she needs to follow that game plan. She has to call on her inner lioness in her approach like in this fight. 
big leg kick land. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kick back to back, just two minutes up the target. Tight to the hole. GDR gets caught with that punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice jab up top by Durandamy. Right under the elbow by the kick land. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh, straight right. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And now she's got the tie. Great punch. action to get that kick done. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Well, Rousey's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Attack an arm bar. Oh, nice job, by her. Oh, she gives up her back here, so a case of pick your poison, and now she's going to have to work hard defensively to prevent the fish. Well, she's got to protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's got to really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. And attack an armbar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Rousey. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Ronda Rousey. Well, her opponent's got a lot of work to do now, and she's been largely rendered a one-legged fighter. Take us through the replay from that last round. Yeah, she got beat up. Her legs got beat up, and now she's moving more slowly. She's not moving as well as she did early, as you would expect when you take that many leg kicks. She's got to check one of these, or her opponent will continue to go to the well and kick her leg over and over. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Big shot land. Oh, how good is her right hook count? More clinching. Oh, big knee. Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations today. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's got to find the confidence zone that all that repetition, all that work with her boxing coach is going to pay dividends inside oh, of the Oh, she opposite. goes to the patented trip there to get the takedown. Well done. And potentially a critical takedown here. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement well, that she's showing on the ground. Here. Get out, get out. And this might just be a matter of time. Full guard now, DC, and just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard, already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Move the half guard, 
then continue to try to advance. While well, Rousey's looking for an arm bar here. starting to show signs of swelling. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating the ground stages. She's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. Another clinch position. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice right hand. She missed with that jab. Nice punch by Durand. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. GDR gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get nice that head off the center right. line. Nice kick. Good right hand right there. All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know she passes as well as anybody in this division. Oh, man, when she gets to the ground, she has an amazing ability to just be advancing or thinking advancement every single time. But her opponent has a great ability and a great sense of anticipation that when you try to go, she's able to get back to her feet, escape, and get to where she's comfortable. Look at the turn. Next game. Her best strike of the fight. Her best strike. And you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. truly a case uh, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your... Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. You can get out of there. Oh. You gotta be careful, arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Defense there. All 
All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control anymore right. because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in right. and just gets brutal damage off from the top position. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like punching technique, that round was about as good as it gets. Yeah, it looks like a boxing fight. She does a great job of using her hands to set everything up. But she's so fast and she's so sharp with those punches. It allowed her to really control that round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Again, in the clinch. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Oh, she's such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than me going for an arm bar now. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Nice kick landed there by Durandamy. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, big left hook there. Again, she chooses to clinch here. And they separate. Ooh. Beautiful knee. So now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, they decide. Huge right hand! What a round. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? You ready? You ready? Let's Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Good punch. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, straight right. Just missed with the left there. Durandamy's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, lands a hip toss now. She's got one of the best arm bars in the business. Going for it now.
work off of the bottom here by Rousey. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Duranami. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Right back in the clinch. Look. Oh, she goes to the ankle. I don't know if she's doing that because you're in the commentator's yeah. booth tonight, but you got to appreciate that. Effort. Call me entertained. Anytime I get to see something like that, I applaud. <laughs> Is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Trying to stay in this fight! Right hand punch. Back and forth we go! Now we're just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, now she's got that high clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here? I'm not sure how much her opponent can... It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. One minute to go in the fight. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just now trying to trap an arm. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 48-47 and 50-45. For the winner by unanimous decision and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion So she is the new UFC Bantamweight champion, joining an illustrious list of former champions in this division, Misha Tate, Ronda Rousey. And she's on that list now. Right next to Amanda Nunes. I mean, you are now amongst the legends. Congratulations to the new UFC women.